or 90 miles from Rapid City and about 90 some from Pierre. But we service people from um, Lemon, Faith, all the way up to North Dakota. I mean, we service a large area. And I think it's very, very vital to the people in, in this community and others surrounding us that we're here. It's, it's a long ways if they get injured to try to make it to Pierre Rapid um, if we weren't here. I was a high school math teacher for three years uh, before I went back uh, to school at Mitchell Tech to become a, a grad tech. And since then, I pursued, I have my certification in MRI and CT also, so. My grandmother is uh, Jean Radway. She worked here at this facility for 52 years. And before she was a nurse here, she was a nurse in Chicago for 10 years. I think the most rewarding thing is, you know, we have a nursing home connected to our facility here. I just love visiting with the elderly. We go across the hall for, for multiple different reasons, visiting with them and getting to help them. Um, that generation is a lost generation, in my opinion, and they're a wealth of knowledge and wisdom. And it's just fun when you stop and you meet them in the hallway. My thoughts on COVID, it's kind of depersonalized our, our healthcare, if you will, because you can't, you know, you, you couldn't have people in the room with the patient, you know, people weren't, weren't uh, holding their hand or touching them because of the contact. Um, they couldn't see our faces, they, they couldn't recognize who we were, just things like that. And I think that that's the part that was the hardest for us because we are so personal with our patients here. Oh, yes, D Dorothy. D D. <laughs> there, that's it. Say Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Who am I talking to? Santa. Hi, Santa. Merry yeah. Christmas. I love you. <laughs> Tell Call her. me someday or something. Yeah. Our patients need our personal, they, they need the personal touch. They need the, the interaction, not only with the staff, but with their family members. And I think we started to see some of that really lacking when, when the restrictions were really tight and these people were really sick. And when we could when we could get the window visits and push their beds over and they could see their family members and talk to them, you could you could tell the difference. You know, it, it sparked them a little bit and brought a little bit of life back into them and, and they we need that personal interaction as human beings. And I think it brought light to how important that was. I don't consider myself a hero. This this is a a group effort here. I truly feel that we all um, signed up for a job and we show up every day and we leave our families just like everybody else does to come to a job and we and we get compensated for that job. The term hero, I, I struggle with that. I think we all are just doing the best we can with the situations that we have and um, I definitely would not be in the position I'm in without my team and that I really want to stress that this team is um, what makes our department strong.